this or use the microphone. I'll, I'll use a microphone anyway. If, uh, if that helps people. <coughs> okay, you you've been listening to lots of presentations, um, lots of sitting in rows or round tables, listening to people at the front. So this one's a little bit different. So hopefully everybody's uh, ready to do something perhaps a little bit different. Um, you might have noticed that some props in front of you. Um, and that will become clear as we as we, we go on through the session. Um, not to take away anything from uh, from what's gone before. Um, we've heard lots of uh, great things. There's been lots of things happening. If you've been following the the Twitter screens, uh, lots of uh, great feedback about all the presentations, uh, all the work that's going on. Um, just particularly to the things I've jotted down. Beatrice was saying this morning about the Port Soken project. Um, a really good community initiative there. Um, if anybody was here yesterday, then Andy Hudson's presentation about the, uh, the PCs was quite memorable. Um, worth watching the video of that one, I'm sure. Um, and um, here in Sunderland, what Tom was saying earlier on about all the, uh, the great work, the great resources that's happening uh, in Sunderland. So I'm Paul Webster um, from NAPCA, which is the National Association for Voluntary and Community Action. So I try not to say that too often because it's a bit long and, uh, and wordy. Um, I suppose the, the umbrella organisation for Councils for Voluntary Service, some from the CPS, one of our members, and, uh, and various other organisations like that around the country. Um, working on a whole range of initiatives with communities. Um, my particular focus, my area, is, is around how technology can be used by um, these support organisations um, to, to do more in the community. So I won't get you all to, uh, sometimes when I do this I'll sort of go around and say who are you, who are you and everything. Um, but we probably haven't got too much time to do that and, and that's always embarrassing that bit. So I would imagine that probably, and correct me if I'm wrong, that probably summarises pretty much um, where people are and what they're, what they're doing. Um, you either be from a community wanting to see some change taking place, um, a support organisation trying to help that change take place, or you're a stakeholder, an organisation, um, council, um, PCT, some, some organisation that wants to see how that, how your community can be more inclusive through a whole range of, uh, of engagement and, and ways to, to make that happen. Um, Sam mentioned this yesterday, and and it's a, a really sort of catchy little thing that I, I like to. to sort of um, focus you on what we're, what here, what we're here for. Um, you could probably summarise it as that. Um, it's to do things better, perhaps improve, make things more efficient, do things in a better way, or to do better, newer, innovative um, things. So that, that sort of summarises it. And, and that's nothing different to probably what you're doing at the moment in, um, what, say, sort of traditional community work, um, outreach work, working with communities. It's things that we've been doing many many years um, and you know, that, that's, that's sort of what we get up in the morning and that's what we want to do, we want to, to improve people's lives. But there's this thing called social media, uh, new media, social networking, web 2.0, um, it's called a whole range of things and that's a really sort of messy picture of uh, what it looks like and the way that mobile phones and mobile technology um, makes that happen and it, it does seem a bit confusing. Um, and, and it's something that sort of bolts on top of what you're already doing. Um, but that's not the way to... Was it somebody was saying to me yesterday about the way between Newcastle and Sunderland, the signs, something about this, you know, signs or something. So that's uh, a bit... Uh, could be a bit confusing, but hopefully after this session uh, you'll be able to find your way a bit, uh, a bit better through this, uh, uh, this maze. So, Five things just to, to think about, and I'll, I'll run through these in a bit more detail. And again, a lot of these are, are probably what you're doing at the moment, but sort of what we're, what we're thinking about in this session is how to, to bolt on social media, new media, on top of all those. So what, um, what you would do is work out what the objectives are, what is it that you're trying to achieve. Um, get alongside the group, the community that you're working with, the people that you're in, the people that, that you sort of interact with day in, day out. Um, find out what, uh, what that community is all about, uh, what they're trying to achieve, what you're trying to achieve, um, and possibly the issues that you face. And by looking at it that way, looking at what the community is doing first, and then 
sort of moving on to tools and, and ways that the techniques can help that sort of afterwards, but looking at your objectives first. Who's the audience? Who are the key players? Who are the people that you interact with? Um, what, what, are they, what are their needs? Um, what, what, who's the target audience? <coughs> um, but again, looking at social media again and, and how this attaches to it, um, don't just build something and then hope that people will start using it because quite often that, it won't work that way. You need to find out, you have to do the other way around, find out where the community is and build something that meets their needs. Strategy is an awful word, um, but it fits in nicely with the Oasis bit. Now, uh, strategy, a path, a plan, roadmap, I heard it called. Um, basically, say, you know, we're here in our, our community, our organisation, we're here, we're doing this, we want to be somewhere over there, um, how are we going to get there? And it could be as simple as a half dozen bullet points on, on the side of A4 that just says, this is what we want to do, um, this is what we need to do to achieve it, and this is how we're, we're going to get there. And again, this is all um, on top of what you're already doing. So it's social media, social web, but on top of what you're doing. Then, this is where you, you start looking at what there is out there, what the tools are. Um, find out what other people are doing. So maybe as a partner or organisation, something that you've read about, one of the projects that we've been talking about this morning. You might think, that's a really good idea. I like what they're doing at Port Soken, or I like the idea of the Digibus. Um, perhaps we could do that in our community. So have a look, see what other people are doing. Uh, maybe other people in, in Sunderland, maybe people in the northeast, or across the country. Um, the Solutions for Inclusion website that Beatrice mentioned is a whole collection of communities that have tried things out, that are working on ideas, and, and how those have been successful, how they're meeting national indicators, and how communities feel more involved through trying those out and using them. So look at what there is, um, look at what the people are doing, and, and try some of those out. And, and a lot of them, um, as you probably, probably know, probably use, I mean, there's a lot of these, these things are free. So if you want to set up a, a Twitter account, or if you want to try Facebook, you can try it out, see if it works, and then, you know, possibly refine it, change it, or delete it if it's something that's not been effective. Um, there isn't a huge financial implications to, to try and clean these things out. But the important thing is if you do, do, if you do set off down this road, then it is something that you do need to sustain and uh, you do need to maintain that presence. So if you're a, a group and you go on Facebook or you, um, you set up a, for, a web forum, um, one of the sort of popular platforms for that is uh, something called Ning, um, which some of you may have heard of. But you, if you're in there and you're using that, you do need to be there all the time. You need to, to keep that, that presence um, up and active. You need to be checking messages in forums, um, replying to people, uh, keeping websites, keeping your, your sort of conversations on Facebook, um, responding to when people um, send you a message on Twitter. You need to be doing that, because if you don't, then you'll soon lose that presence, and you'll soon lose that traction, and, and people um, won't be visiting the website. So it's important to, once you've set something going, to have somebody there monitoring it, keeping it going. Okay, so that's sort of the, uh, the background to it. Um, so shall we play a game? Yeah. Twister? Sadly not. Uh, I wasn't quite sure whether that would work in, uh, in this, you know, with this number of people. If there'd only been four or five of you, then yeah, maybe we'd have to look up the